brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me A million dreams, a million dreams Oh, mm -hmm.
shine diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Find light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star, I see. A vision of beauty. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Find light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star, I see. A vision of beauty. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Find light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star, I see. A vision of beauty. Finally, brethren, we are about to begin Liberty Learning Center's Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. I'm honored to be here today as your master of ceremonies. Today we have with us our guest speaker, Mr. Ryan Bailey. And of course, he's sitting in the high seat over there. 
So our theme is Unlocking the Future. We will now begin with our processional.
Ladies and gentlemen, you the class of 2023 of Liberty Learning Center. For you today with hearts filled with gratitude and hope. Surround them with who encourage them to grow in character, seek goodness. Meant to righteous. Heavenly Father, we also live up to support them during this transitional period. Help them to provide. for comfort and we are sure times of uncertainty. Lord, we commit the high school but not only with their parents, but also with their teachers and mentors. Guide them to discover their passions, talents, and purposes as they navigate these diverse opportunities that high school offers. Heavenly Father, we pray for your patience, your presence to be with these graduates each day. May they experience your love, grace, and mercy as they face the challenges and triumphs of high school life. Strengthen their faith, reminding them that you are their constant source of strength and guidance. Father, we ask that you bless this graduating class with a deep and abiding faith. May they walk hand in hand with you, trusting in your divine guidance and surrendering their lives to your purpose. Finally, we ask you to bless these proceedings and make them memorable for all the graduates and their support teams. We give you the freedom to be active in this gathering. Father, we give you thanks for everything today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Maureen Lou Bailey. And now we invite Rikay Brown and Chloe Johnson to give the welcome.
relative well-wishers and classmates could be. We passed, but we had the team needed and we came out champions. There was no better success story. We will continue to be success stories. We are the products of Liberty Learning Center. It's truly an honor to be and to have to milestone with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome. It's happy to be here today, and I know you are celebrating. Students done extremely well, and of in conduct, love, in faith, and in purity. Which was given through prophecy. When the body of El Uphold it to them so that everyone may see your progress closely in them because if you do, you here ended up of God's holy word. You have a right, mark. So, so you forget, forget your glasses? glasses? Okay. okay. All right. So, um, invite our member, Miss Lini, to come forward. If she is coming, to say today that 
our students from Liberty Learning Center, they by Mr. Christopher C. Our Social Studies Awards by Tip Friendly Society. Or Ability to Test Awards Hardware. Just continue talking, okay. You know, I'm gonna ask, I just want to. DIY, baby. Q1 is Club of St. George's Buffet, Lifespan. Bradford, LLC. I did see JM Pinner Home. Buffet, Shoppers Pride Supermarket, and St. George's Funeral Home. And of course, we continue to speak, and this so I must remind you of our will be working with. Liberty is lib get them into trouble. Yes, so freedom to be who they want to be, and we and we always no matter what speak the truth. And of course, liberty was founded on friendship. And our grade six students, I know they have then Miss Marshall.
And even though we have to, we have to enjoy ourselves in true liberty style. Me understand. That's why it's a rough song for her. She got through some little troubles the other day. Sincerely hope, listen to the words that those that she <laughs> sang, because God has been true to you, right? So I am seeing in. Anybody has got any ideas? Eh? One. No, I'm going to get one for you. Anybody have any other one? This time, invite Mr. Nicholson, the principal of Liberty. So, um, when I clap, I it has been teacher and principal, Mr. Nicholson. Yeah, go so it's true. We have full parents who's, who they are always cheering him on. And Uh, all protocols are there, and sometimes that is on me, and I will take it as a head. The academic year, 2022 to 2023, began on the 7th of September as our return from kindergarten to grade 6, we're back in school face to face. Now, Because school that we can have classes online. And so for the entire we offered online classes as well as face to face classes for the entire year. Parents carrying them over. They had classes. So we're always in. Some new staff members are still with us, and some have parted ways for different. I'm to homeschool association, and I must commend all parents as they have been a part in everything that we have done this year. So I'm asking to give them a round of Our first major activity was in October. and was supported by our parents, but also your friends, and all of our staff members were sure that we met. And our goal for this year was to have cameras installed. seven days a week. We <laughs> had the return of something fun. And of course we knew that was going to win, but for some um, reason beyond that, The one, the one, we, we know, know that, that we win. win. But they said that kindergarten. 
But in reality, kindergarten one. Or in In came December. This was a moment filled with not only new things, it came with about close family member. Well, November into December. Every year, we just plan to make it bigger and better as we go along. And of course, for students which are looking forward to it from last year, we had a what? And the prom queen, we're both in my class because we're winners. us because we're and I want to make it clear that we are winners because <laughs> so it's like we decided that we had to get our students ready for prep. A little bit before they came back from the Christmas
Shine bright like a diamond.
attention to the things in front of you today. Unlocking the future depends on you paying close attention to what is before you today, this very moment. And, and so, so I, I want to say to my young, young people, people, pay attention to what is before you. In, in other, other words, words, focus and, and don't get distracted by the things, things around you. you. You are going, going into a new environment, environment where there will be so many distractions, so many things, things but always pay attention, attention to the fact that, that you are now at the high school, school level, level, which means you need, need to be focused. You can't be gazing. gazing. You can't be left, left, right, and center. center. You, you need to be focused on what is ahead of you. you. In, in order, order for you to unlock the future and, and become the next, next very, very big person that, that you need, need to become in this life. Pay attention to what is before you. you. No, don't get distracted. You will be distracted because in a high school environment, there are many other students from various categories of life, from various your socioeconomic background, different socialization, different religious practices, so many things to easily distract you. But guess what? I want to say my boys and put it just to see a focus. Because girls, the way you don't focus on your own loss. When you go to high school, you're going to be distracted to be like a dolly going on and we're dolly in the gym we don't want it anymore, I want my girls, I don't want my young ladies at the Liverpool Learning Center. When we go to high school, you're going to be in any common manga. Don't be distracted. Don't be in any common manga. When you step into that institution, I want my girls, I want my young ladies at the Liverpool Learning Center. When you go to high school, you're going to be in any common manga. Don't be distracted. Don't be in any common manga. When you step into that institution, I want my girls to be like an Eastern Union. You're very expensive. You're costly. You are nobody's mother. You are a product of liberty excellence. Excellence in academic, excellence in behavior, excellence in whatever you do. If you know about liberty, whatever they put their hands to, I mean them just have it like that. Them turn it in a go look, you know, see a goal carpet them walk company. Yeah. So young ladies, don't be distracted. Focus on what is important. If you desire to become an entrepreneur, an attorney at law, then you can't think like how the dolly them think. Boys, if you want to become a cabinet minister, if you want to become the next big businessman in Buff Bay, you can't think like no chopper and no chopper thing not work anymore. Yeah, go get lock up. Police are come haunt you. We want men and women of substance and of caliber. We want you to be big kings and, 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 and queens wherever you are. Focus on what is important. And so I want to say to you, take on a positive mindset when I deal with no negative thinking. Take on that positive approach because how you think determines how you act and how you act will determine the kind of results you get. So I want you to embrace positive thoughts because positive thoughts plus positive actions equals positive results. If you think negatively, then whatever you do will be negative and the results you get will be negative. So guess what? I want you to embrace positive thinking. So any boy I want to come to you and want to with you, if they're not positive, say yo, just stay on one side and I'm going to be not depend that. Because you know what is it that you want in life. And there are so many possibilities and opportunities out there. So you have to get the right thinking, the right mentality, the positive mindset in unlocking the future. If you understand what I'm saying, you get me? You get me? You get me? Yeah, man. All right. So I want you to let go of some bad habits. Oh, no, 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 Mommy talk to you, I lock up your mouth. Come on, don't open my hand. Just chop. And daddy, daddy just chop too much. Correct it. The attitude, they have to drop it off. You get what I'm saying? Drop it off. 
let it go. Whatever is, uh, is, is holding you back from reaching your full potential, you know them. Whatever is preventing you from getting 100 in your exam, in the math, in the English, in the science subject, whatever, you have to drop them off. So if it is more free fire time, you have to say less free fire. If, you, if it is more, I mean, tablet, spending a lot more time on the tablet, all right, may I go spend less time on the tablet and do more schoolwork. Whatever is holding you back, whatever be Puck G or Among Us, you near them. The mommy have to say, put up the tablet now. Daddy have to say, all right, go to your bed now. Whatever is preventing you from scoring 100, you have to learn to let them go so you can be the best and nothing but the best. We say number one. We now go second, third, fourth, nor fifth. We say number one. And all of you here under the sound of my voice can be number one. You can be number one with the right thinking. Once you have the right thinking and you focus on what is important, you can be it. I challenge you to let go. In more of the Jamaican term, let go the eagle. Let go the bird. Let go the eagle that is in you. All of you here. You have an eagle inside of you. Let go the potential. You can sing. You know, some Victorian uh, music, musical. Let me play the two people who sang earlier. Hey. Whatever you have, don't limit yourself. Don't think you cannot. Think you can. Think you can and you will become. So if it is music, let go the potential. Sing every day of your life. I mean, yeah, just balance everything and sing. And because there are so many careers you can get, if it is journalism you want to go into, read, focus on the history, watch television, watch the news, leg of the eagle and soar high like an eagle. Don't think like a chicken. We have too many people who cannot think like a chicken in these days, you know. Too much chicken mentality, we're tired of that. We want some eagles. The chicken does go around and, <laughs> and scratch among the surface, but the eagle, Yeah, all right, that's better. But the eagle is the king of the sky. Soar like an eagle. Don't limit yourself. Not because mom is a teacher means that you must become a teacher. You can become more than a teacher. Not because mom is a nurse means that you must also become a nurse. You can become the doctor. Not because daddy is a mechanic means that you must become a mechanic you can co become the person who owns an automobile or an auto store or whatever they want to call it the toyota jamaica or honda you can become the next big entrepreneur don't limit yourself so embrace the positive thinking let go the bird let go the eagle let go the potential that you have let go your ability and i want to say to the parents this evening create that environment where they can explore and think the best version of themselves there is so much in you that you don't even recognize that you are more than who you are you are more than who they say you are you are more than who you think you are there is so much inside of you that you haven't even discovered yet But it is going to take focus now. Focus now. And always tell yourself that you have to make it. The best way to predict your future is to create it. It is time that we create the environment in which we want. And parents create the environment where our young people can communicate, can talk, where they can come to you and say anything because other people are creating environment for them. And it may not be the best environment. The environment might be unhealthy, but we have that responsibility at this stage of their development our responsibility we have to be even more meticulous because they are at the stage where various changes are taking place psychosocial psychosexual state the changes are taking place and so we have to be very careful and watch with every single we have to respond to their needs with all of our senses we have to open the four eyes according to some people would say because they need us and just as how you are here in your numbers to support them they are depending on you 
once them step through the high school because it's rough out there. May I tell you, eight years I spent in the high school where young people have challenges. They go through various stages of depression, academically and problems at the home, and they need us. So we have to create the environment where they can be more comfortable. So when they come upon challenges, they can sit down with daddy and say, yo, daddy, you know, say, hey, a little girl, they pressure me, you know. Daddy, you know, say, that boy, that a teacher, that's mad in there, pressure me, you know. And you know what to say because you create the environment of trust, of communication, of good moral values and principles. I want the parents, under the sound of my voice this evening, to create the environment where our moral standards and principles are upheld and we have a better Jamaica, a Jamaica where we can live at liberty, we, a Jamaica where we can do business and raise our family comfortable. We don't want any more criminals. We don't want any more common mongers. We don't want any more mackerel brushers. We don't want any more scammers. We want men and women of substance, men and women who will transform our society, men and women who will give me less work to do. I don't have to go to children's court or write any social inquiry because we have young men who uphold the law. We have young girls who are focused and disciplined and say, this is what I want. Say, it doesn't matter what all when them tell me, say, to go burn some weed. Me not burn no weed. And what you say, any high grade and the book me the pun right now. Any high grade me the pun and the grades them where me I go get for exam. Any high grade you focus on is the high grade in the math, English, science subject, business subject. Whatever you want in life, focus on those positive things and you will make it. You must make it. Nobody can stop you. Mommy can stop you. If you're from a single parent home, you can also make it. Tell yourself, I'm have to make it. Ma after what? Ma after what? Ma after what? I say ma after make it. Me know ma after make it. Ma after make it. Me say me know ma after make it. Ma after 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 make it. Yeah. Ma after 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 make it. Yeah. Mama tell us something. My mother did tell me say me black and ugly and would come out to nothing. She run me and she cuss me and she tell me say me tan just like me. Walkless papa. Me never read how she go on. It demotivated my charm. But like a real general, me make it go on and press on to conquer all the negative thoughts with it that go on. To conquer all the negative thoughts with it that go on because my offer make it. Me know my offer make it. My offer make it. Me say, me know my offer make it. My offer make it. Me say, me know my offer make it. Yeah. Me not go follow some man and turn no waste man. I'm not going to follow some man and get can with them drugs and gun plan. I'm going to think like a wise man who is strong because I have to make it. I say I have to make it. So I might fail an exam I never do so well at liberty. But when I go teach film, I have to make it. Whichever school, whether I go Marymount or whichever high school, I have to make it. I never so strong in other subject here, eh? but I have to make it. And I can tell you that this approach will transform your life. If, if I did it, you can do it. People looked at me and said, oh, that boy, that Bailey, him not come out to nothing good. That the little fierce ranking boy, that charm boy, I know watch him. He not come out to nothing good, but just look at me now like TVJ. Just look at me now, 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 now. And like CVM, looking in, looking out, looking even. Oh, what you say? The future out there. So you have to what? Make it. But you have to embrace the positive thinking. You can't think like some obis kubi. When are they upon that? And so education is the key to unlocking the world. A passport to freedom. People are born education. It is what will take us out of poverty. Value it. Hug it up. Cherish it. You ever get a gift you know, you don't even want a mask to touch it? You just hug it. It's a world to me. That's how I want you guys to embrace education, you know? 
value it, cherish it. It will transform your life. You have the power, the influence. Without influence, there is no success. And I want you to influence yourself positively and you will see how you surprise even your own parents and you exceed even your own expectations and that of those who are here to support you once you embrace that positive mindset. Boys and girls, you can, you will, you must. You must go out there and conquer. You must challenge because you are an overcomer. You have to make it because with God with you, you will. Nothing will stop you from making it into this life. So big up on a nice, clean self, girls and boys, them. Big up on yourself. I will see you, maybe not, yeah, maybe at a, another graduation, but I will access the services that you will offer when I get like a old and gray. Let me come here. I say, but me not remember the little boy that used to go to Liberty School. Big up on yourself and thank you so much for listening to me. You don't know, I love you. I love you. I love you. The man them. I love you. Girls, I love you. Parents, blessings, one love. Reinforce your support. Reinforce your sacrifice. The fact that you are here this afternoon speaks volume of the support that they will get throughout their other journey while they go into high school and unlock the future and unlock their potential and soar and fly like an eagle. You can, you will, and you must. On behalf of the graduating class of 2023, we would like to thank, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude for your presence and the up. On behalf of the graduating class of 2023, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude of your presence, the uplifting words of encouragement you shared with us. We sincerely appreciate your valuable contribution to our graduation. In addition to our gratitude, we would like to present you with a token of appreciation for your inspiring words and support. This small gesture serves as a symbol of our sincere thanks for the positive impact you have made on our lives. We hope this gift reminds you of the lasting impression you have left on the individual graduating class of 2023. Thank you. Why, Mr. Bailey, parents, students, you have a lot. You have heard it. You have heard it from somebody else who is not your teacher. So go out there and live it. All right? Okay, so now it's time for our graduates to do their song. So we are going to have our graduates now singing. So we invite Mr. Welch who is going to direct them with a song.
You can do all things but fail. You can do anything you want except failing. And failure is never in our books at Liberty Learning Center. We, are they all on stage yet? Can sit? You can sit? I want to sit down. <laughs> all right, a little bit of humor is good. <laughs> I'm frightened, poor thing. You know, going to high school is not an easy thing, you know. I wouldn't want to go to high school now, you know. But those of us who are at my age, you want to go back to high school now? No, seriously, you would want to go back to our school now with all of them things that are going to high school and all of those things that are going on? I wouldn't want to go to high school. But anyway, you guys will do all things except fail. And of course, we have our Val speech now, and it's Zahira Breckenridge and Jade Martin who will be your valedictorians. I you notice we do everything in doubles because everybody wants to come up here because I want the parents to see them. All right? So we have our valedictorians. Zahira, Jade, come forth. Madam Chairperson, distinguished members of the school board, our principal, Mr. Nicholson, guest speaker, Mr. Ryan Bailey, teachers, other members of staff, parents, friends, well-wishers, and fellow graduates of the class of 2023. Good evening. Good. There is a time for everything, a time to enter and a time to exit. I entered Liberty Learning Center at the age of three in kindergarten, along with Zahara Rashan and Mikhail, just to name a few. We spent three years in kindergarten, where we were taught by Miss Russell in K-1, Auntie Debbie, who has a special place in my heart in K-2, and Miss Roper in K-3. In 2017, we were joined by most of the children in my class now including Jade. Isn't that right? Yes, definitely. It seems like it was just yesterday. Grade one was a whole new experience. We were no longer babies. We were taught by Miss Gavin, who was very serious when he came on to work. Even though she was strict, she was still a kind and loving teacher. Grade one was where our class started to bond. Then the next year, Miss Leamy was our teacher. She was a confident, generous, and amazing teacher, as well as the life of the party. She was funny, talented, and well-mannered. She always made us laugh and made us feel better about ourselves. The thing I love most about her teaching is that she always rewards us for our accomplishments. And then we were off to grade three. In grade three, we went to Miss Williams, who was new to the school. She taught us for about a month and a half, then she left. I guess not everyone can handle the liberty spirit. Miss Linton took over, but she was not new to us as she taught us Spanish. In 2022, COVID came and changed our lives. We were forced to stay home and had to learn through different methods of learning. We can all attest to the fact that it was hard. 
As we started upper school, the work only got harder, but our teachers always found a way to make it easy. It's good that we met Miss Atar. She helped us to adjust to the online and upper school. During that year, we had different teachers for each subject. Miss Otar was our language arts teacher, while Mr. Davin was our math teacher, Mr. Dariel was our science teacher, and Miss Thompson was our social studies teacher. It sometimes got confusing to remember which class to go to, but then it was online. So whenever we went to class late, it was easy to blame it on the internet. <laughs> In grade five, Mr. Davin was our main teacher. He had a funny and kind personality and warmed up to people easily. Grade five was one of our best years. Yes, we were back in school face to face, and this time the teachers had to come to us. We worked very hard while still having fun. As we prepared for PEP, we had to settle down and focus more on our work. We had all four subjects to sit at once, but all the work paid off because just look at us now. As we began our journey in grade six, we were greeted by our beloved teacher and principal, Mr. Dariel. He is a kind and a loving person. He not only taught us schoolwork, but he also taught us important life lessons. We also learned that we could go to him with anything and he would help us. And Miss Jones, who assisted Sir, so that when he got upset, he was always there to keep us in check. Pep preparations was long and hard. We had classes from 7 a.m. regular.
in. Please get ready for your certificates to be handed to you. Where do you want them to walk, Mr. Nicholson? Miss Jones, where are you? Go pick up Miss Jones. All right, Mr. Nichols, are you ready? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the class of 2023. We invite the front line to stand. Um, could I have one of these wonderful something that I never get when I was going to school? I'm just jealous. Every year when I get hot and show up, I like it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the folder. Liberty Learning Center. Of course, it says Liberty Learning Center of Bay Portland, Jamaica certifies that whoever, whoever had put Javar Bailey here has satisfactorily completed the academic course for the preparatory department given this day, the 6th of July, 2023. All right? So, Deshaun Anderson. Javar Bailey. <laughs> Zahira Breckenridge. <laughs> and she can tree boss. Rikay Brown. <laughs> Traden Brown. Brian. Rashawn Edwards. Lansden Gale. Victoria Gilpin. <laughs> and let's see Mr. Gilpin teach them. Mr. Gilpin up in man. <laughs> Go Tori. Rihanna Gowie. <laughs> Angelica Gray. <laughs> Nikendra Gray. And yes, they are sisters. <laughs> Brianna Irving. Jordan Jarrett.
Chloe Johnson. Mark Lewis. Sawadi Long. Jade Martin. Mikhail Mackenzie. <laughs> Ajani Moore. Admil Nolan. Dominic Powell. Emil Powell. Zahara Swayze. Giovanni Terrell.
So at least see me just I see it. Awo. Eh eh. All right. Lord, me sorry for someone. Me go and need a box. Okay. So Mr. Nicholson, you need to, you're going to move your table, come over here, so. Are you going to walk? So you're inviting your past students. I hear that past students are the persons who will be handing out. So I'm going to invite Miss Bassan, Miss Jamie Lee Bassan, one of our past students of Liberty Learning Center, now a geography teacher at Titchfield High School. Teaching at the best school. Oh, I forget. Teaching at Titchfield High School, Titchfield High. The 13 of them were going up. They want to better be able to sell you know, and go and go them. So here is Miss Bassan, elegant as usual. We invite you to come on stage to do our pep awards for language arts. So we start with third place, and that's Jordan. So we have. Jordan Jarrett in third place for language arts. Come on, and I'm sure you didn't hear me first time. All right. In the second place, when I go up and take a picture then fast, fast, you know, a digital, you know, I know, the wind up something. Yeah. All right, so in second place for language arts, and this is a tie, so oh, you get third. Anyway, Zahira Enrique, second place. Which one will come first? Zahira first, and then Enrique, second place for language arts. So Zahira first. All right, proud mommy. And then we have Rike Brown. Also scoring the same, and they are friends, you know. So everything they do, they do the same. Ricky and Zahira, and in first place, Chloe Johnson. First place, Chloe Johnson. And then we are going to be going to social studies, language arts award was. Sponsored by Christopher Stevenson, the Social Studies Awards by Tip Friendly Society. In third place, we have Chloe and Zahira. <laughs> Chloe and Zahira. So we are going to invite Chloe first, and then Zahira in third place. Zahira. Come, Zahira. In second place for social studies, Mark Lewis. Yes, it's you, Mark. You. I'm not sure. It's you, Mark. Second place social. You don't believe it? <laughs> All right, Mark. It happens. It happens. In first place, Mikhail McKenzie. It's true. <laughs> I, and I know, I know why he's looking like, really social studies? Yeah, he did get it. First place, Mikhail McKenzie, social studies. We move on to mathematics, sponsored by Jiang Supermarket and Wholesale. So for mathematics, Third place, Rike Brown. <laughs> Second place, Zahira Breckenridge. And in first place, Mikhail McKenzie. <laughs> the 
That was the Mathematics Award sponsored by Jang Supermarket and Wholesale. Thank you very much. Ms. Bassan, thank you so much. And we invite Mr. Nicholson, our other past student. It is Jabari, Jamari, Jamari Robinson. Jamari Robinson, all decked in black. Elegant as usual because a liberty did go. Yeah, we show off like that, don't you? All right, so we are down to science. Science is sponsored by JM Funeral Home. And in third place, we have Rike Brown and Zahira. It tie up again, you know, Rike and Zahira. You want one box? So we're going to have Rike first, Rike Brown first. And Zahira, you're next. Go Zahira. And in second place, we have Chloe Johnson. So second place was Chloe Johnson. Some of you will be walking more than once, right? Chloe Johnson. And in first place, for science, Michaela McKenzie. You're gonna put the trophies on the ground so they don't drop again and break like that one. Oh, we'll get it fixed for you. Just put it down. Right. So when you get them, just put them beside or under your chair. Okay. So we move on to the ability test. Because you know they do ability tests now in PEP. So in third place, we have. Rike Brown. <laughs> and Kadmiel Nolan. Rike and Kadmiel. mommy <laughs> third ability ability you know ability test yes I'm still smart and in second place we have Zahira Breckenridge <laughs> Anna Shewan Rashawn Edwards Lansden Gale and Mark Lewis in second place for ability test they all got the same scores so it's Zahira Rashawn, Lansden, and Mark. And I think Mr. Nichols is doing some recycling and we will work that out, yes. All right, step back a little bit for me, boys. Step back a little bit. Lansden and Mikhail, so you don't spoil the picture. Zahira, Rashawn, Lansden, and Mark, second place. So we have to have so many sponsors, you know, because, you know, I couldn't manage this. Okay, so it was second place. And so in first place, we have a tie again. So it is Chloe Johnson. And Mikhail McKenzie.
Okay, so we are going to take our top girl and our top boy. But I know some persons are calculating and working out and so on. I eh? saw you think, I saw you go. You ever hear them say you might get woolly for first place, but some people are come second, second all the way, come in and get more than you. Average is a hell of a thing, and I must know that. Anyway, I always said that to say this. So, our top girl is. Who you think it is? So you see a three different names me here there. Ricky, me here Chloe, me here Zaira. So I'm most one of them. So, which one are they say? Who say Ricky? We're enjoying ourselves tonight. Who say Ricky? Put up your hand. Ready? Right if a Ricky, you don't think get the top girl, put up on your hand. If a Chloe, you think put up your hand. If a Zaira, you think put up your hand. Well, someone have vote more than one time. Anyway, our top girl for our PEP Awards for 2023 is Zahira Breakery. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, don't go too far. Zahira, stand up right there because I want a picture with both of you. And our top boy is Mikhail Mackenzie. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to your top students in the PEP Performance 2023 exams. Our top girl and our top boy. And then thank you so much, Mr. Robinson. And he says We invite Miss Jones. Which Jones are you talking about? Your Miss Jones, dear Miss Jones, or your TA? Because there's many Miss Jones in here, and I see everybody wondering if they're. All right, so we invite our TA, Miss Jones, to come and do the subject prizes. And the subject prizes, I see here, is in school prizes. So these would have been. work that they would have been doing in their exams and classwork and all of that over the time, over the period. And so in mathematics, in third place in school subject prizes, third is Riquet. And these are the exams that they just did. They just did the, the end of year exams, so they are getting awards because they will not be at our prize giving in January, so they are getting their subject prizes now for their exam. So in third, we had Rike. In second, for mathematics, Mark Lewis. And in, in, in first place, Zahira Breckenridge. For science, Third is Kenjalika. Kenjalika Gray. Second, Zahira Breckenridge. So that's the Science Awards. And first place, Rike Brown. was Rike, first place for science, and we move on to social studies. In third place, we have Kadmil Nolan. 
second, Hugh Bryan. In social studies, second, Hugh Bryan. And in first place, Zahira Breckenridge. For language arts, third place, Chloe Johnson. Second place, Rikay Brown. <laughs> Language Arts. And first place, Zaira. <laughs> For the ability test, third place, ability test. Admil Nolan. And you notice he came third in the pep and third in the class. Yeah. In second place, Jade Martin. And first place, Mark Lewis. in the school subject prizes would have been Zahira Breckenridge. <laughs> and, and our top boy in the last set of exams would be Mark Lewis. Nicholson. We have some other awards. We have, so we finished with the academic awards. So we have the Performing Arts Award. So we invite Ms. Attar to come forward for the Performing Arts Award. All right, and a whole heap. It, oh, it's a lot of them. I did have a whole heap. All right, so we're going to run this so fast. So it's Zahira Breckenridge, Performing Arts Award. It's Zahira has been performing at Liberty since she came in kindergarten, right? Yes, always dancing. Zahira Breckenridge and always singing. Jade Martin as well, drumming and singing and dancing and ing and all the ings. Jade Martin, Victoria Gilpin, Dominic Powell, these are the singers. Zawadi Long. All right, so let me go over. They won't take the picture. So give it since you're looking for them, just hold one so they can get the picture and just give them back first and then you give them, you know. Yeah, so let me call them up. We call them parents one and get the picture. And me would have want picture to you. Alright, so where's Miss Otter? Your name is Otter? Alright. Oh sorry, sorry, Miss Sorry, sorry, she has left. Okay, so we are asking Mr. Welsh to go ahead with. So Zahira got hers first. So Zahira. So shake and, and buy. Zaira, performing arts. Jade Martin, quickly, when you hear your name, jump up quick and come, man. Jade Martin, Toria Gilpin. Keep it, keep it, Devin. Keep it, Mr. Devin. Toria Gilpin. It's for the optics. Dominic Powell. Zawadi Long, our singers. Come, Zawadi, come. 
Hadmil Nolan. Mark Lewis. Brianna Irving. Johnny Moore, everybody performs at Liberty, you know. Trade and Brown, Tarika Walker. All right, so I'm going to do another thing now. So when you call your name, you line up right here, so you just walk up after the next person. Tarika Walker, Jordan Jarrett, Rihanna Goey. Okay, so that was trading. Tarika got hers. Jordan Jarrett. Then Rihanna Gowie. Giovanni Tyrell. Emil Powell, Zahara Swayze, Hugh Bryan, Deshaun Anderson, Kenjalika Gray, Nikenja Gray, Rikay Brown. These are the Performing Arts Awards that would have participated in the JCDC Festival, in the choir, as drummers, as singers, as dancers, as hers. So all these ladies and gentlemen are your performers. Keep the claps going, because it's many of them, and I know you are tired. Of course, you had to get something. All right. Most outstanding performing arts students. We have two of them, Mr. Nicholson. Our most outstanding performing arts students are Sahira Breckenridge and Jade Martin. Okay, so we have the Peter Coburn Award. And this is a special award, the Peter Coburn Foundation, after Mr. Peter passed away.